What's good all my true people? Welcome to Stay True Ad Time on the TSEN Network. So look, let's get right into it. WWE, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view match in a couple weeks. And I want to talk to Roman Reigns versus Goldberg for the Universal Championship. Look, everybody's saying it's just a fill-in match, right? Just a match until WrestleMania when Roman takes on Brock Lesnar. And this was a match that was supposed to happen two years ago at WrestleMania. Bill Goldberg, who was then the Universal Champion, was supposed to defend it against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, which a lot of people are saying Roman was going to win that match. Roman was booked to beat Goldberg at WrestleMania and become the Universal Champion at that time. But we all know that didn't happen. COVID, pandemic, he stepped out, Braun Strow uh, stepped in, and Braun Strowman won the match, became champion, um, which I think Braun actually deserved it at the time anyway. So it worked out. But... I know they want to have this match. I just think it's the wrong time. Roman is just, he is as hot as he's ever been. Roman can get no hotter right now with the whole tribal chief, the head of the table, the storyline, the character, everything that he's got going on right now is perfect to the T. And he's making history right now as the longest reigning universal champion in history. He He's, he's just on fire right now. He's on fire. You cannot stop it. And I just don't think this match is the right time. I, I just, first of all, let me get on Bill Goldberg. I'm a Goldberg fan. I like Goldberg. You understand? And when he came back, what was this, six, seven years ago, 2016-ish, somewhere around there, when he first came back, right, he was gone for like a decade. He came back. He had a little storyline with Brock Lesnar, and I was all with it. I was with it. He came back. Uh, he beat Brock in like 16 seconds, which I think was kind of dumb, to be honest with you. I didn't like that, but he did it. He had that little moment with the Undertaker in the Royal Rumble. He eliminated Brock in the Rumble match. They ended up facing each other at WrestleMania. Brock won. Um, and Bill Goldberg had his matches here and there. He dropped the Undertaker on his neck, almost assured the Undertaker's career right there. Bill Goldberg, to me, was never a good wrestler. Even in his prime, why do you think in his prime he still only had matches that lasted from 30 seconds to 3 minutes? Because he couldn't go long. And, um, you know, Goldberg, he got a pop. He was a money draw back then because his name, his look, the way he acted, you know, people loved him. But he was never, it wasn't his in-ring that really captivated you. Like, it, nothing about his in-ring in performance drew attention except for the spear here and there and the jackhammer but he can't even do that to full effect now he can barely pick people up right now you see it he struggles if you pay attention this dude struggles to pick people up for that jackhammer he can no longer hold people there the way he used to back in the day and if he's in the match a couple a minute or two goes by he's winded good luck him picking you up which is why he dropped the undertaker on his neck but look and it's nothing against Bill Goldberg. I think it's the WWE's fault for doing this. I just, I mean, they're bringing him back because, I, you know, he draws some money. He gets his little pops here and there. But you keep bringing him back and putting him in these top moments against your top superstars. And I think it's a waste. I, I personally think it's a waste because I, from a fan's eye, like when he had that storyline with Bobby Lashley, we knew Bobby Lashley come run circles around Goldberg in the ring. So it's just... To me, it's a waste of time. And this match with Roman, if anything, I would have rather seen Roman versus Seth Rollins part two. I think that would have been more intriguing. I think that would have actually drew more money than this, to be honest with you. Um, now, this match, though, Roman's going to win. There's no way he's losing this match. And, that, you know, is he going to win straight up? I don't know. Or is he going to win disqualification? Um, no contest, like what happened with Seth Rollins at the Rumble? You know, get outside help. We don't know. But we know Roman's going to win. Regardless. It's going to be Roman versus Brock. WrestleMania for the title. Could be for two titles. We'll see what happens in the chamber match. But that's the match booking. Now people are saying, well, WWE might do the shock value. And what do I mean by shock value? Is that WWE is so predictable nowadays, right? So predictable nowadays. You, you can sense when something's coming in the storyline. And sometimes WWE, when they know that, when they know that the fans strongly know that they're going this way, they'll try to flip the script and try to shock you because nowadays it's hard to shock fans, but they'll try to shock you and be like, okay, they think this is going to happen. Let's do this. And I hope they don't do it. 
I hope for God's sake they do not let Bill Goldberg win this match, right? I don't even want to hear, oh, they'll probably have Bill Goldberg win just to shock people, but they'll put the title right back on Reigns. Reigns will win it on a SmackDown before WrestleMania. He'll win it back and still face Brock for the title. I hope that does not happen. Or people might say, oh, Goldberg will win it. And who knows, the match at WrestleMania could be a triple threat. Goldberg versus Brock versus Roman. And on paper, that's a slam dunk of a match if Goldberg was still in his prime, but he's not. I hope that does not happen. Roman, like I said earlier, is as hot as he's ever been. The character, the storyline, everything is going for him. He's on. He's at a history pace right now as Universal Champion. Do not break that run for Bill Goldberg. Do not do it. I don't care what trying to twist they're going to try to do, what, you know, try to pull a shock value on fans, and they'll just put the title right back on. No, no, no. Do not take it from them to begin with. They got to keep the title on him. And um, 